I make no secret of the fact that I'm really proud to come from Hartlepool for many reasons, obviously, but mainly because I know that in times of need, we all come together and support each other. And that's been particularly evident to me over the past couple of weeks. And, and for that, I really wanted to again say thank you to the people of Hartlepool. Tonight, the, just a brief update on the Hartlepool Support Hub. Now, you'll know that we launched the hub last week to support anybody in Hartlepool who is self-isolating or who is unable to leave their home during the coronavirus outbreak. And it's already received more than 2,500 calls, delivered around 350 food parcels and 300 prescriptions to people right across the borough. Um, the hub also offers information and advice, emotional support and links to additional services which are also offering support uh, across the town for people. To have been able to deliver hundreds of food parcels and prescriptions to people across Hartlepool has been very rewarding for our staff and volunteers. And many of you may have heard the, uh, Mike talk about uh, the role that he's been playing uh, as he's been moved over from Carlton Outdoor Adventure um, into uh, assisting on the front line. I also wanted to place on record our thanks to Hartlepool, Hartlepool Food Bank, who have supplied us with, with all of the food, food parcels today. Their support has been amazing and it really is hugely appreciated. Don't forget, you can contact the hub by calling 01429 272 905. They're open between 10 and 4 Monday to Friday and 10 and 12 noon on Saturday, or you can email them at helping at heartpool.gov.uk. It's Friday and I hope everyone's able to find at least some time to relax over the weekend. Um, we are allowed to take one form of exercise a day, however please do remember this should start and finish from your home address. Please don't go out driving um, to, to go and take some exercise or to walk the dog. Uh, I don't want anybody getting into trouble uh, for doing that. Um, on that subject, what we are asking residents who are exercising outdoors uh, to do is to dispose of the litter and, dogged, uh, and uh, dog waste at home wherever is possible, please. While we are continuing to empty bins, uh, we're asking for your support to help ease the pressure staff are under uh, during this time. I mentioned at the start of tonight's update some of the amazing acts of kindness happening right across Hartlepool at the moment. But I know many other random acts of kindness are being carried out by people of all walks of life too. So I'd really like to hear some of the examples where, some, sorry, some of your examples where a family member, a neighbour or, or perhaps a complete stranger has gone out of their way to help you or somebody you know. For example, you may be aware of someone who's provided essential shopping to a neighbour who can't get out. Or maybe you know someone who's just sent a positive message or picked up the phone to say hello to somebody who's, who's living alone. These may just be small actions, but it make a really big difference to some people who need it. So let's share and celebrate some of the great examples of kindness uh, that I know are happening right across Hartlepool right now. And I'd encourage you to leave them in the comments section underneath uh, this post. Um, and I look forward to reading them over the weekend. And that's all for tonight. I do know these are worrying times for people across the town. And I, and I do obviously encourage you all to take care. Each and every one of us has a direct part to play in stopping the spread of this disease. And we must join together to do it. I know you're all playing your part. And for that, once again, I say a massive thank you. Good night and enjoy your weekend.